Hello there, it's me, Rama, and today I wanted to show you how you can make a completely custom tooltip. As you can see here, I have the classic tooltip. This is the stock UE4 tooltip that you'll see in your game uh, if you don't customize it. And here, I have made a custom version, which actually is a lot bigger font and has different background, different text, very different. You could use any font you wanted, really. I just chose to use uh, Roboto because it's really easy to read. But as you can see, very different tooltip widgets are being used here. Stock and then custom. Now I want to show you how you can set it up for any individual component of your UMG. So here's this um, checkbox, C Classic. I'm going to type in Tool. As you can see, I'm not using a custom tooltip widget, I'm actually binding. So you hit bind, create binding, and now I'm going to actually create one of my tooltip widgets, because I actually have already set up a custom format for that, which I'll show you soon. So here's options, tooltip, right? And then controller, player, player, controller, and that is... I just always set this because sometimes if you don't, weird things happen. So connect this, and now that's going to be our output. But I also want to initialize it with all the correct values. So I've made this custom function, joy init. Now you might be wondering, where do I get the tooltip text from? The tooltip text comes from here. See, video demo high. I've already set this text, I just want to get it. So to get it, I need to have made the checkbox a variable which you can do over here, set as variable, and now I say get tooltip, right? And now I can plug that into my custom function, and also I can set the height that I want. So I'm gonna go with 65, and this function looks like this. This is now inside of the tooltip widget, as you can see, it derives from user widget, it's just a regular widget. I put in a regular text block, which is a variable, sized it to be the maximum boundaries I could ever want, and made sure I set it to be wrapping, right? Then, in here, and when join it happens, I get the text that's passed in, I set the value, and then I also set the size, how tall I want the entire border to be. And so I'm using the border, getting it as a canvas slot, getting its size, and using the x value, right? I don't want to make a new a new width because it wraps correctly. However, to set the height, I want to put in the value that is passed in from joy init. And then when I do that, the end result is that it works. Let's go in game and see. So now, as you can see, here's the original, and look, there's the new one. And that is the whole process. Now, that width, where it has that sort of extra space at the end, you know, you could try using the get width. Let's see, let's go over here. You can try using the width here, this size to content. However, I've never gotten that to do quite what I want. When I do this, here's what happens, just so you know. When I do this, then well, that, that works great for a single line. However, now look at this one. This one is now very upset. So it's great for... I wonder if I could set that in custom fashion. Because for a single line, it's great. It just doesn't seem to work right the way I want it to for multi-line text. I wonder if we can make that an option. So I would be saying uh, border and then set size to content. Can I say size? Maybe I have to cast it to canvas slot first. Can I size, set, auto size? It's probably set auto size. So let's make a new variable here, and we're going to call this auto size. And if it's true, well, we're just going to set it here. Set auto size. All right, and we're going to put that in there. And default value is going to be false. So now we have this variable, so now over in here, for one of them we want it to be true. For the main text we want it to be false. However, we want a sized content for this smaller line because it's only one line that doesn't wrap. Now, if we go in game, press O, look at this one, and look at this one, so there! You, during the making of this video, I made the system even better. <laughs> so there you have it, custom tooltips in UE4. Enjoy!